Hello there. I've been working on the Print Shift Prusa Mini for some time now, and it's working well enough that I've got three Prusa Minis with automatic ejection configured. So we're frying them into a print farm. Wanted to show some of the setup, talk a little about how that's going. This here is the print farm we're working on. We only have two of the minis over here right now. It has been running since before print shift was a thing. Sometime back I started thinking about optimizing space and safety. Quick shout out to my very first 3D printer. It does still run. Original Prusa Mendel. We even got it signed by Adrian Boyer and Josef Prusa. Prusa has done a little better with his more recent designs. This guy doing some manufacturing for us. So, why a wire rack? Well, these racks are inexpensive, easy setup, they have adjustable shelves. So you can adjust the height of each individual shelf very easily. And they're not flammable, and they have gaps to let fire safety through. Fire safety should always be a concern when operating any 3D printer unattended. I'll link to a Tom Sinatra's video down below, he does a very thorough description of all of the problems that might happen. I use several strategies to keep my print farm from going up in smoke. With the print shift platform I think about safety even more because they are capable of running hundreds of prints completely unattended. I'm even thinking about how to improve the safety of my current setup. This is by no means fireproof or risk free, but I thought it'd be useful to share my precautions and operations. Fire safety starts with safe printers. There are redundant safeties in the hardware and the firmware that guard against adverse thermal events. Just a little quick advice, again I'm going to do Tom's more comprehensive video below. Keep your firmware updated, make sure your thermal watchdogs are in place. Even my older machines, this is a homemade i3. Yes, the MDF frame is flammable, but the other advice, good wire management, well rated power supplies, running this guy at 24 volts to reduce the load on the bed and the heaters and keep good fuses in place that are rated for the load they can draw. I do have a mains wired smoke detector and a fire extinguisher just outside this room. And the final failsafe I'm running uh, an old fireball. I do need to see if these guys expire. So, if there is a enough heat and flame, a loud and safe bang will come out of this device and it will shower my nice printers with flame retardant powder. There are newer systems like the blaze cut that are gas based, a little easier to clean up. In theory, I'd much rather clean up a mess than have a fire spread to the rest of the house. The likelihood of fire on a 3D printer remains very low. The only printers I know that routinely caught fire are the old Anet A8s. They had two flaws, one with the heater and the thermistor not being very well mounted into the hot end, and the other was disabling the safety in the firmware. That's two flaws in one printer to cause, I think, there's maybe three or four cases of them catching fire. Even with the flaws, it's relatively rare, but consequences are dire. It's worth taking precautions. I've got each of my printers on vibration isolation, marble, flame retardant foam rubber. Just using 12 inch squares a quarter inch, that's self adhesive. Why would we use marble? Well, print shift proofs of minis are divas, they deserve it. In actuality, it's denser than concrete and relatively thin. I wanted to put in a small space, so all you could do like one inch thick carpet foam and then an inch thick stone uh, concrete slab. This is a little more compact and, well, it looks nicer. Rounding out the setup, all my machines are fitted with Octoprint. I also keep them all hardwired in and each printer has its own camera so I can keep an eye on it. Final thing is keep the area clear. You don't really want tools or flammable things around. Maybe not the best place to keep your incense log cabin, but it's totally fine to light it up, as long as you keep an eye on it. 